Hi everyone! Johanna and I are really excited because today we have a friend visiting us and this is Rachel Kaufman. Hi everybody! Hi Rachel! Hi girls! And she's going to tell us about her new website that she's launching next week. Um, yes, actually it will be next week. We're really, really excited about it. So my website is called Scrapbooking from the Inside Out. And I said scrapbookingfromtheinsideout.com. Uh, I think it's something that is really new and exciting in the scrapbook industry. Um, and it's all about scrapbooking about yourself and your life, your inner process. Oh. It's something that I like to refer to as scrapbook therapy. Um, it's a way to do self-exploration and self-discovery through your scrapbooking. I know if you guys are like me, you've probably found that you do a lot of scrapbooking about the people in your life about your kids, mm -hmm. about your um, 99 percent of the time. Right, exactly. <laughs> about your pets even. Um, and I know I do that. So, yeah. um, but this is about something a little bit different. I think that scrapbooking about what goes on in your heart and soul is so important for all of us. It's like taking a bubble bath or talking to your best friend or reading a great book. It's something that really makes you feel good about yourself and it allows you to get what's in your heart out on paper. And you know, I'm a firm believer in all sorts of um, work about your heart and soul and so you know therapy and reading self-help books and and um, study and all of those things uh, are so great but nothing has been as helpful to me in my own life as scrapbooking to get what's in my heart out and onto the page True. so mm -hmm. there are a couple of really good reasons for doing this kind of scrapbooking one is obviously it's so good for you to be able to express yourself and the other is that your kids and your grandkids will really appreciate knowing who you are and I think it's so important to tell your story and to share who you are with your yeah, family right so this is an opportunity to do that so the website is basically about um, it's a it's a an inspirational website that's going to give tips and techniques for scrapbooking about yourself it's going to have an inspiration page that will have um, journaling prompts uh, links to other websites that we think will be helpful photographs of art and um, uh, obviously some scrapbooking inspiration from our great design team as well as music links and lots of things to really inspire oh, you. Music links. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. Things to inspire you to think about your life in a different oh. way. So actually our first month's um, kit is, uh, there's also a kit club involved in this, our first, month, first month's kit is going to be about freedom and so all the inspiration freedom. will be about freedom in your own life and how you might inspire the people in your life to be more free, what freedom means to us as a society, and so there are lots of great opportunities. The kits are going to be fantastic, full of lots of great manufacturer materials, and enough to create at least 10 scrapbook pages plus a mini project. So wow. I think that's each month you're going to have a different kit? Right, there's a different kit for sale each month, and each month's inspiration will be focused around those materials. So the first oh. month is all about freedom. We're going to be covering issues like hope and comfort, um, joy, and we're going to be looking at you know the issues in our lives that are really positive, and also find ways to express things in our life that are really difficult. Um, life's not a, life's not a bed of roses all the time, and I think it's really important to share uh, what's difficult for you and to process it. And I can find no better way in my own life than scrapbooking to do that. Well, I wanted to actually just show you girls a couple of pages yeah, that please. I've done that are about please. this. Um, scrapbooking from the inside out and there's really a method that I start with that I wanted to um, tell you about. A method? There's a method for doing it and the method is I really just start with the emotion. I know that most of us when we scrapbook start with a photo with or we photos. start with mm -hmm. a product that we love and that we have to use. What I try to do is just start with the emotion. So what I did with some of these pages and I'm just going to show you one of them here as an example is I thought about what was really going on for me in that moment. What was I feeling? Was I feeling good? Was I feeling bad? And I realized that in this world we live in we feel pretty unsafe a lot of the time. We go out, we worry about our kids right. and whether they're okay. The world isn't a happy-go-lucky place all the time. Right. And I started to think about when did I feel really safe in my life? And I remember being in my grandfather's arms when I was little. Oh. We had a really, really special relationship. And I decided to make a scrapbook page that's ostensibly about yeah. him, but it's really it's about me and my desire for feeling safe in the world. So what I usually do when I'm starting with an emotion like that is I sit with it for a while. And I'll think about and write about the things that it brings up for me. So I started thinking about my grandfather, our special relationship. And then I'll usually go online and I start looking for journaling prompts or things that really inspire me about the relationship that I want to explore. I love quotes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me too. I'm just crazy about quotes. And quotes. started thinking about grandparents. And you know, it's interesting. A lot of what I found was about grandmothers. And there wasn't a lot about grandfathers and granddaughters. Mm -hmm. And it made me realize that I had a very special relationship with him that it was really important for me to be able to capture. 
So I started writing down things about that, and then I actually went and found the photos. So it's really a backwards kind of process. I found the photos that supported the emotion that I had that I wanted to share. And I found a great picture of my grandfather and myself when That's I was beautiful. really small. That's great. And I blew it up. It actually is pretty grainy, but it's another great tip. You know, don't worry if your pictures aren't perfect. Mm -hmm. Um, capture the memory and, and don't worry so much right. about the perfection. So I've got this very old, very grainy picture of my grandfather and myself that was probably a couple of inches square. I scanned it and blew it up and um, cropped it so that I could really hone in on that look of safety on my face mm -hmm. when I was a little child um, being held by him. And then in terms of design and color, I wanted to go with that same feeling of safety. And the greens and browns and and blues really give me that sense of calmness and, right. and ease. And I also mm -hmm. remember that my grandfather used to always wear blue and green shirts, which I found very funny because when I was a little kid, I always thought of old men wearing these white button-down shirts and ties. Mm -hmm. And yeah. he, he always had these really um, lovely colored shirts on. And so I found this great um, green and blue and brown paper from Scenic Root that was just tremendous and um, used it in my design. And then the other thing that I did was think about how the design could encompass the feeling that I wanted to explore. And for me, safety feels like a circle. It feels like a hug. Um, it feels like that oh. idea of being enveloped. And in the picture, I'm being enveloped by my grandfather. I love how you just incorporated that whole circle theme right into that. Right, so I basically tried to come up with, from my stash, embellishments and a design that really um, looked at the idea of circles and wholeness and brought it together on the page. So that's how I created um, this one page. And um, this is the kind of thing I do pretty much, uh, you know, a part of every time I sit down to scrapbook. I really dedicate myself to making some time for it. And I want to encourage more people out there to do it. I think scrapbooking about your family is so important and it's so wonderful to capture those emotions. But um, if you leave yourself out of your albums, I think it's something that you'll really um, miss out on and that they'll really miss out on in the yeah, future. I now here you yes. have a page without any photo on it. Yeah, I think that's another great um, tip for me to share. I don't always scrapbook with photos because as I described in my method, I don't, I, I look for the photo as a secondary part of the process and I don't always find a photo that actually supports what I'm looking for and sometimes what I want to explore is so deep that there really is no photo that would be appropriate right. to share to get at that feeling. So actually this is a page that um, is about difficult times in my life when I felt like um, I've been under a lot of pressure. And so it really gave me this image, this metaphor of fire and feeling like you're so on fire that you don't know what to do and feelings mm -hmm. kind of, uh, that your feelings are sort of bottled up inside and how do you get them out. And so I created this page with a very um, fiery, colorful attitude um, but without any photographs because I really wanted it to be about the words and I wanted to say what I wanted to say and, and not have it really be captured by a photo. And this is your journaling? Mm -hmm. so That's my journaling. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. And what's this last page? And this last page is something, I actually really like the technique that I used here. Oftentimes you don't, you, not, you don't have a picture that really works or you don't have something that sort of jumps out at you, at you as uh, a picture that exists already that might make sense. So what I did was I actually took a picture for this purpose, and I do that a lot when I scrapbook about myself. I actually set up the timer on my camera, put my hands out, and took a picture of my empty hands because I wanted to do something unique with it. And then I applied over the photograph, I attached embellishments using um, foam squares, pop dots, um, and I, I sort of, um, I put some of them a little higher and some of them a little lower and made it look as if the hearts and the flowers were pouring out of my hands. And so the image is supposed to be about offering my heart and what I think my heart is about and um, that I am the kind of person who wants to offer it to the people who are important That's to me. That's great. Thank you. I love Thank you. Well, I think this is definitely a bookmark this. Yes. What's the website again? It's called scrapbookingfromtheinsideout.com. Scrapbookingfromtheinsideout.com. Inside out. Inside, inside out. out. <laughs> scrapbookingfromtheinsideout.com. Okay. Yes, we like to say it's all about you. It's all about you. Excellent. Thanks so much, Rachel. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Thanks. Great. Thanks a lot, everyone. We'll see you next week. Okay. Yes, you look fabulous. And you're just talking about that. So okay. And we can, again, we can edit out anything, obviously. And I'm really last here. Word. Hi, everyone. Johanna and I are really excited because today we have a friend, 
visiting our scrapbook room. This is Rachel Kaufman, and my hand went. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that was my hand. My hand is a fart. 